Hey, how's it going? I'm Greg from Rook Design Supply. I wanna show you this font that I made called Hunters. So what's cool about this font is it's a open type SVG font, which keeps all the texture and transparency from the original scan. So it looks super realistic. What I wanna show you in this video is how you use it in Photoshop and how you use it in Illustrator to get the most out of it. To install the font, you're gonna install it just like any other font. So uh, select Hunter's SVG and install it. Might take a few more seconds to load just because it is a larger font file. Hit install font. And uh, you're good to go. And just repeat that for the other uh, OTF files here. All right, so first up you uh, choose the font just like you would any other font, Hunter's SVG, and have the mode, I usually set it to sharp. Uh, from there, type in your text. And to apply color, go to layer, layer style, color overlay. And then uh, just select whatever color that you want. Also note uh, that each lowercase letter has an alternate version as well. So if you select any of these characters, uh, you can change it up. Now, uh, if you're using an earlier version of Photoshop or you want these letters in a higher resolution, I've included everything as a high-res brush as well. Uh, so with the brush tool selected, uh, go up to here and then into the brush settings. And from here, you can import the brushes that I've included. Uh, from there, use the, each letter as like you would any other brush. Uh, so select your letter, on a new layer, whatever color you want, and click. So to do the exact same thing in uh, Illustrator, uh, you're gonna um, type in the text, um, load it in just like in any other font. And then uh, to change the color, what you wanna do is create a layer just under your text layer and choose the rectangle tool, set it to whatever color you want the text to be, and create the rectangle and have it cover all of that text. So now what you wanna do is open up your transparency menu, which you can do by going to window transparency and then select both the text and the rectangle layers and hit make mask here and then hit invert mask. And this is non-destructive too. So if you wanna make changes to the text or you wanna make changes to the color, uh, you can hit release here and uh, make whatever changes that you want. All right, so that's all there is to uh, using this font. So see you later, have fun.